Hello everybody, it's Kaz from Graphics by Kaz and today we're going to be installing the Peach Pack from my Etsy store which includes pre-made animated overlays and scenes. So we have Streamlabs OBS loaded up, we have a new blank scene and we're going to click on this little plus here. Now there are two ways of doing this, I'm going to show you the hard way of doing it first but then we'll go into the easy way. You click on media source and then you click on add source. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it overlay one, click on add source. And then you have this properties panel here, click on browse. And then this is for my neon pack. So I need to find my peach pack. So here we are, we have all of the overlays. I'm going to click on overlay one and then click open. Uh, we have the overlay now playing in the background, which is fantastic. However, you see it went black just there. That's because we need to click the loop button and then it comes back. You need to click that button, otherwise everything will disappear. <laughs> and you, yeah, it just won't show. So you need to click that button, it's very important. Everything else is fine, click on done. Now we have the first layer, which is our overlay. So we have our first overlay here, that's great. We're now gonna click on the plus button. And then we are going to add either a window capture or a display capture. I'll say display capture because that's my personal preference. The only difference being display capture captures your entire screen and a window capture will capture just the one window. Say if you're playing a game, a window capture will only capture that game. It won't capture any pop-ups or anything outside of the game frame. It's just that particular program that you are filming. Um, this is great if you want that. However, if you want to say alt tab out of your game and you know look up some fun things on the internet, um, your viewers won't see that because they'll be tethered to the window, which is your game if you've chosen that window, but it's completely personal preference. Just for this demo, I will uh, I will click on display capture and click add source. I'm just gonna add, call that the default name, no point calling it anything else, and then click add source. So this is my screen. If I had two screens, which I don't, I could click on this and choose the next monitor. However, I only have one screen on this computer, so this is all fine. You can also choose to capture cursor. If I turn that off, you won't be able to see the cursor in the scene. Um, however, I'm going to turn it on because I like you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, click on done. Right, now we have the display capture above the overlay. What we want to do is grab these little handles up here and then resize it um, to about the same size as the, the uh, window hole we have here, the game frame hole. So I'm just gonna drag it up to here. There's a bit of overlap, but that's fine because what we're gonna do now is grab on display capture and drag it below overlay in the, pa in the layers panel. So now if we click away from it, you've got these lovely curved edges going on and that's because it's sort of sitting behind that transparent layer. So you, you've, you've got a kind of sandwich going on now. We've got the capture at the bottom, the overlay sitting on top of that, and then we will add our stream labels and our chat and um, everything on top. So to add a face cam, I'm gonna click on the little plus here and then click on video capture device and then add source. I'm gonna call it default. And then there I am. So um, I'm just gonna hide this notification up here. Um, for some reason, my my webcam comes through a square and I'm not sure why it does this to this day. I'm still not certain why it does this. Um, however, to get around this, there's a resolution um, box here and I just click on custom. And then it suddenly goes back to being um, the correct aspect ratio. I don't know why it does this, it's very strange. Um, once you've found your webcam and everything's cool, click on done and then you have your webcam again sitting in front of the overlay. What you wanna do now is again, like we did before, match that up in the corners there and then drag the handles. Um, there we go, so it sort of fits within that box. Um, however, what we want to do now is to drag um, the face cam below the overlay. So then, here we go. We have the uh, the nice curved edges, as you can see, um, because this is sitting below the overlay um, level. Cool, on to the next bit, we're gonna add a chat. So we're gonna click on chat here, and then we're gonna click on alert, uh, no, not alert box. We're gonna click on chat box. And then I click on add source. And then we're just gonna call it chat box. And uh, here we go, here's our 
um, chat, it comes through as a preview here. Um, I like to just keep most of these options as default because it's pretty easy to read for your viewers. However, you can play around with this as much as you want. There are many, many different options in here you can play with. Um, the only thing that you have to be wary of is that this box is generally a different size. And if you start messing around with the handles, you warp what the chat will look like and then they'll want to be able to read it. So basically the um, the annoying thing you have to do with this is kind of trial and error, guess how big this box is and then how big you need your chat to be on top of it. So looking at this, I'm gonna say, let's try 300, 300. So that's looking maybe a little bit small now. So we probably need to bump that up to maybe either 350 or 400. Let's try 350. 350 and then 350 again so it's a nice square yeah I feel that that works there we go so 350 350 seems to be a good fit for this one we're going to go back to our um, panel here and then we can click on done and uh, then your chat will appear in this chat box um, you can also test this out by going to your channel it don't, you don't have to be online for this just go to your channel and go to your chat and then just start typing in random messages and then those messages will appear on um, this chat um, overlay so that's always handy to do if you want to test something out. Um, we will leave this on top of the overlay because obviously if you put it behind the overlay, then no one's going to see it. So you want that chat box to be on top of the overlay. What we also want to be on top of the overlay is the stream label. So we have a, a little box here available as a stream label. We're going to click on the plus and then we're going to scroll down on the right hand side um, to where it says stream label here. Click on add source. I'm just going to call it stream label as default. And then um, we've got a uh, all time top donator and then the name and then the amount. Um, so this is what I generally like to use. You can go through all of these different um, options. There's so much to choose from in here. Um, the only thing you need to be careful with is that sometimes this data will be blank. Say if you have a session top gift sub, sub gift. If no one's given a sub gift in that session, in, in that session that you are streaming in, um, there will be no data for that. So that will be blank until someone donates in that session. So that might mean you aren't able to test this until someone does it in a session. Um, however, I like to do something that's static, which is all time top donator. And then um, if I want to later on, just change that to um, one of those bits of data that isn't visible in the testing phase. So, the only thing I'd like to suggest here is where we have um, all time top donator. Um, I like to just, I've done it already here, but I'm going to go to the, the very first character line here before any of your text starts and just put a single space, one space, and that will become relevant later. So remember that. Um, okay, now we're gonna click done. And then we can grab this up here and then uh, pull it so that it's inside the um, the stream label. As you can see, it goes off the page. So what we want to do is um, press Alt and then drag this little handle here and you see it crops off. So then we want to crop it so it's inside that box. However, now you can't see the, the donator name. So what we are going to do is click on uh, the stream label. Then we're gonna right click to add a filter. So go to filters and then click edit filters. Uh, now we again have this properties panel. We're going to click on um, where this little plus button is here. So click on the plus. Uh, up here you have many different options. Again, you can play through all of these. However, we are going to go to scroll. So click on scroll, filters name is scroll. That's absolutely fine with me. Click on done. And then you can use this horizontal speed slider to slide it up and then you see it starts moving. So this is great because now um, the label is cropped within the overlay box. However, it will, it will cycle around, you will scroll around, you'll see the whole of the name. And this is great because it means if someone donates and they have a super long username, then it will always show that data. So um, this is why I love this particular filter. So uh, this is all good. You can play around with some other options if you want. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna click on done. 
and uh, and there we go we have the uh, the scrolling filter here we have the webcam we have the chat and then we also have the uh, the game capture or display capture here one thing i probably will recommend actually is if you've started from scratch you probably won't have a um, alert box and if you want alerts we're going to click on plus we're going to click on alert box we're going to click add source we're going to click on add source and there we go we you have your alerts you can change all of this some of it you can only change in the web app at the moment um i'm not sure why i think there's a bug with the software i made a previous video on that so if you want to know how to do this in the web version check out my previous um video on alerts because i have one for that workaround we're going to click on done and then uh, your alert box will be here. I like to put it in the middle of the screen there. Um, great, so that's your whole working overlay, uh, overlay one. Now we're gonna look at overlay two. So we're gonna click new one here. It's called new scene. I'm better call it overlay two. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have our new scene here. Again, uh, that was the hard way of um, adding everything. There is an easier way. If you have a finder or a file explorer, um, the what you're going to want to do is then grab your file, your WebM file that comes um, in the downloadable zip. And then you're going to grab that and drag it directly onto your layers panel. And there you go. It's it's there. It's magic. It's, um, it's already there and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to click loop. The only thing you might want to do is click onto it and rename this layer um, because it's just called the file name, which isn't particularly helpful sometimes. So again, uh, if we want to fill out these, we'd do exactly what we did in the first overlay tutorial. We'd add the chat, we'd check the height of the chat and make sure that fit inside it nicely. And we do the same with the stream labels. I'm not gonna show you how to do that again because we literally just did it. Right, on to overlay three. Overlay three is a little bit different because it's a hover overlay. So I am gonna, again, drag this down here onto our layers panel. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the majority of this is black. So I am going to go ahead and add a display capture. This might look a little bit weird because um, you know when you go to a fun house mirrors and it's just mirrors all the way down. It's kind of what this is gonna be like for a second because I don't have a better way of displaying it. So I'm going to click in here and click on a video device again, add source. There I am, cool. <laughs> click on done. And then uh, we are going to resize this so it fits inside the little banner here. Doo -doo -doo. And then we are gonna drag the uh, video capture device, the face cam below the overlay. So again, the overlay is the top thing. We have our display capture behind, we have the, ov the video capture there, and then we have the overlay as the top layer on this one. Again, if you wanna add stream labels here, you can do those as we did in the um, other tutorial. Um, but yeah, obviously this one works slightly differently, but again, it's a very similar setup to how we've done uh, the other overlays in this tutorial. And then we should probably move on to the last one, which is overlay four. So for the final one, I'm gonna drag in overlay four onto the layers panel. This is just a big long chat and then a um, game capture. So again, I probably won't show you how to do the game capture if we've, we've done that a few times now. And then the chat again is exactly the same as how we did in overlay one, apart from you'd make wanna make this chat box very tall. You'd wanna make that, that, that number on the height uh, tall so that it fits in all the way. Next, we'll add some scenes. So we're gonna add, go ahead and add a scene and call it scene one. And then again, if we hop back into um, our scenes that came in the download, we can click on be right back and just whack it straight in. And that is all you need to do, that is done. And that you could add a chat if you wanted, you could add all sorts of bits and bobs around here, but that is all you need to do to get a scene up and running. Um, we'll do exactly the same with the other ones. So we've got a, a stream starting soon, so you can quickly swap between these two. The final one we have is a uh, thanks for watching. So there we go. And that is done. Um, these are all looping. Um, so they'll just loop continually until um, you're ready to either swap screen or change to another one. If I was doing this for real, I probably would have renamed these layers to be a bit more descriptive. So I knew exactly what I was doing when I was flicking between them. So this is the way to set it up and set up each one of your scenes and each one of the overlays. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. 
I'll put a link in the description to my Etsy store and to this particular listing so you can have a look at the peach pack. I am going to be doing a whole lot of other packs as well. Um, I think a lemon potentially, maybe an avocado, maybe a coconut. Let me know which one you would like me to do first. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.